whispers in the haunted manor. The year was 1895, and the fog clung to the moors like a shroud, casting an ethereal pallor over the land. Blackthorn Manor stood sentinel amidst the swirling mists, a shadowy silhouette cloaked in a tapestry of secrets. The legend of the manor whispered through the village, a macabre tale passed down through generations, each telling more terrifying than the last. The moors themselves seemed to cower beneath the oppressive weight of Blackthorn Manor's history. In the dead of night, villagers huddled by their hearths, recounting the gruesome stories that had woven the manor into the fabric of local lore. They spoke of chilling wails that emanated from the mansion's depths, of flickering lights that danced in its windows when the moon hung low. Eleanor Winslow, a woman of 32 with a penetrating intellect and a fierce scepticism, had heard these tales since her childhood. As a historian by trade, she had made her reputation uncovering the secrets of the past, debunking superstitions and exposing the fallacies of folklore. It was her unshakable belief that every mystery had a rational explanation, that the ghosts whispered of in the dark were but figments of fevered imaginations. Yet on this mistrouded evening, Eleanor found herself standing before the gates of Blackthorn Manor. The wrought iron barriers groaned as they swung open of their own accord, as though beckoning her into the heart of the legend she had vowed to demystify. She couldn't deny the palpable sense of unease that coursed through her veins, even as her logical mind scoffed at the notion of the supernatural. Her arrival was met by the manor's façade, a colossal structure of grey stone and ivy, looming like a spectral sentinel against the moonlit sky. The very air was heavy with foreboding, the night suffused with the secrets of generations past. Lord Nathaniel Blackthorne, the reclusive master of the manor, emerged from the shadows. His form was as imposing as the mansion itself, his eyes hidden beneath a furrowed brow, and his voice a low haunting murmur. He extended a gloved hand to Eleanor, a gesture that held the weight of unspoken history. Miss Winslow, he rasped, his words chilling her very soul. You've come to seek the truth, have you not? Eleanor nodded, her skepticism warring with the rising dread in her chest. The echoes of the legend reverberated in her mind, but she clenched her jaw, reminding herself that she was here to unravel the mysteries, not to be ensnared by them. As the grand doors of Blackthorn Manor creaked open, Eleanor stepped into the abyss of uncertainty, her heart echoing with every step. The legend loomed before her, its whispers beckoning her into the dark embrace of history's most enigmatic chapter. She was determined to uncover the rational truth hidden within, even as the shadows conspired to keep their secrets. The moon hung heavy in the midnight sky, casting an eerie pallor over the fog-shrouded moors. Blackthorn Manor emerged like a spectral sentinel, its jagged silhouette looming amidst the obsidian night. Eleanor Winslow, historian and skeptic, clutched her travel-worn valise, her breath visible in the frigid air as she ascended the stone steps leading to the mansion's imposing entrance. The mansion's façade bore the weight of centuries, its stone walls weathered and worn, etched with the scars of time. Ivy vines, gnarled and ashen, clung to the manor's surface, resembling skeletal fingers reaching out from the past. The ancient trees of the surrounding forest stood sentinel, their skeletal branches swaying in a haunting nocturnal dance. A flickering lantern, held by a cloaked figure, greeted Eleanor at the threshold. The cloaked figure lowered the hood to reveal the hollow eyed gaze of Lord Nathaniel Blackthorne. His pallid skin seemed stretched tout over bony, and his hair, once raven black, had now turned a ghostly shade of grey. Miss Winslow, Lord Blackthorne murmured, his voice like the echo of a distant dirge. I trust your journey was uneventful. Eleanor nodded, the weight of her skepticism growing heavier as she exchanged pleasantries with the enigmatic lord. His mansion exuded an aura of foreboding, and Eleanor couldn't shake the feeling that something ancient and malevolent dwelled within its darkened corridors. Please, follow me. Lord Blackthorne beckoned, his lantern casting elongated shadows that seemed to writhe and twist as they danced across the walls. Eleanor complied, the silence broken, only by the creaking of floorboards beneath her steps. The interior of Blackthorn Manor was a labyrinth of dimly lit passages and chambers, each filled with antiquated furniture draped in dust cloths. Fading portraits of long-deceased ancestors lined the walls, their eyes following Eleanor's every move with an unsettling spectral curiosity. Your room, Lord Blackthorn finally announced, leading her into a chamber adorned with heavy, brooding drapes. A four, poster bed dominated the room, its dark wood carving bearing witness to generations of secrets. 
A single, ornate mirror caught Eleanor's eye, its surface marred with age and a sense of melancholic reflection. As Lord Blackthorne departed, Eleanor was left alone in the oppressive silence. She set her valise on the bed, its leather surface chilling to the touch. Her thoughts churned with a disconcerting blend of curiosity and trepidation. The Maynor's legends and its reclusive owner weighed heavily on her mind. With trembling hands, she approached the window, its ornate lattice revealing a sprawling, moonlit garden. It was said that the spirits of the manor wandered these grounds, their restless souls forever bound to the darkness. Eleanor gazed out into the night, her skepticism waning in the face of the mansion's palpable malevolence. The night's whispers seemed to echo through the corridors, and Eleanor couldn't help but wonder if her quest to prove the non-existence of the supernatural would end in a chilling revelation, one that would forever alter the course of her beliefs. She pulled the drapes closed, concealing the moonlit garden and its secrets, and prepared to confront the mysteries of Blackthorn Manor that awaited her in the shadows. Eleanor Winslow's days at Blackthorn Manor unfurled like an uncharted parchment, each dawn promising revelations and dusk shrouding her findings in ever-deepening shadows. Her room, high in the manor's west wing, served as both refuge and war room, with walls adorned by handwritten notes, yellowed documents, and cryptic drawings that danced upon the edge of comprehension. She was determined, resolute, and as the days bled into one another, her skepticism began to wane like a moon, retreating behind an ominous cloud. Seated at a scarred oak desk, a flickering candle casting eerie shadows across her face, Eleanor delved into the labyrinthine archives of Blackthorn Manor, Dust-laden tomes whispered forgotten tales, and parchment crumbled at her touch. She was an archaeologist of the arcane, excavating secrets buried deep within the mansion's history. The night was silent, save for the distant howl of the wind, and the pages of an ancient ledger seemed to rustle of their own accord. Eleanor's fingers traced the weathered script, revealing the stories of servants and nobles long gone, their lives lost to the inexorable passage of time. But there, amidst the faded ink, a name arose. Nathaniel Blackthorne. His presence in the annals of history was undeniable. With a shiver, Eleanor whispered the name as if invoking a spectre. The room grew colder, the candlelight dimmed, and the atmosphere shifted, as though the very air were charged with spectral energy. She was not alone. Who are you? She murmured, her voice quivering as she addressed the unseen presence. But the room held its secrets close. Eleanor's breath hung in the frigid air, forming ethereal tendrils that twisted and danced before vanishing into the darkness. The presence remained silent but palpable, like a hidden predator watching its prey. Desperation drove her to seek answers. She clenched her trembling hand around an old, ornate locket resting on the desk. The locket had been discovered in a dusty, forgotten corner of the manor, and it bore the unmistakable crest of the Blackthorn family. Eleanor clasped it tightly, as if it were a lifeline in this spectral abyss. Speak, she urged the unseen entity, her voice more commanding now, tinged with equal parts determination and trepidation. And then, like the unfurling of a sepulchral scroll, the room responded. The very walls seemed to breathe, exhaling secrets with every spectral breath. A whisper, soft as a ghost's sigh, reverberated through the room. Secrets, it murmured, barely audible but laden with sorrow. Hidden beneath layers of time, a pact, forged in darkness. Eleanor's heart quickened. She leaned closer, her eyes fixed on the locket. A pact? What pact? The spectral presence seemed to hesitate, as if torn between revealing more and retreating into the shadows. Eleanor's grip on the locket tightened, and her resolve burned brighter than ever. Tell me, she commanded, her voice unwavering. And with that, the room unleashed its secrets, the spectral whispers revealing fragments of a chilling tale, a pact between Lord Nathaniel Blackthorne and malevolent forces, a sinister bargain that bound the manor to darkness, and the chilling promise that Blackthorne would stop at nothing to protect his unholy alliance. As the whispers faded, Eleanor was left breathless, her mind a whirlwind of dread and determination. The path ahead was treacherous, but she had glimpsed the hidden truths of Blackthorn Manor, and her pursuit of answers had only just begun. 
as the night's shadows crept like silent spectres across Blackthorn Manor, Eleanor Winslow found herself ensnared in a web of malevolent forces far more real than any legend she had ever dared to dismiss. Her skepticism, once unwavering, now wavered like a fragile candle flame in a gusty storm. The dimly lit hallway seemed to stretch endlessly before her, its walls adorned with faded portraits of stern-faced Blackthorn ancestors. The floorboards creaked beneath her every hesitant step, the echoing sounds a ghostly chorus of warnings. Eleanor's heart pounded in her chest, the rhythm irregular, matching the dissonance she felt between the world of reason and the realm of the inexplicable. It was in this chilling moment that she heard it, the soft, insidious whispers. At first, they were but faint echoes in the corridor, barely distinguishable from the ambient sounds of the old house settling. Yet, as Eleanor strained her ears, she detected distinct voices, laced with longing and malice. Join us, Eleanor, one voice beckoned, a spectral plea from beyond the veil. Eleanor's fingers clutched the edges of her tweed skirt, her knuckles white as bone. She hesitated, not daring to answer the ghostly call, but curiosity, that most fragile of human emotions, gnawed at her resolve. Why are you here? She whispered, more to herself than to the unseen presence. The whispers responded, as though carried on an ethereal breeze. We are bound to this place, cursed by secrets long buried. Free us, and you shall know the truth. Eleanor's mind raced, skepticism waging a battle against the undeniable reality of the supernatural. She knew the legends. Blackthorn Manor held a vault of forbidden knowledge, and the spirits within sought redemption. Yet the price of such revelation was a pact that no mortal could fully comprehend. The flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on the cracked, peeling wallpaper. Eleanor felt her own shadow dance and twist like a wraith against the wall, mimicking the unseen forces that surrounded her. The whispers grew stronger, closer, their words like tendrils of mist curling around her consciousness. Join us, they urged again, this time with greater urgency. The secrets we guard will change your world. Eleanor's breath quickened, her chest tightening as a surreal sense of temptation enveloped her. Her skepticism now waned, eclipsed by a growing desire for answers, for knowledge that transcended the boundaries of reason. With trembling hands, she reached into the satchel slung over her shoulder, retrieving a dog-eared journal and a tarnished fountain pen. She would record these whispers, capturing the spectral voices that defied explanation. They were evidence, after all, of something beyond the realms of science. And as she etched the words onto the yellowed pages, her handwriting shaky yet deliberate, she knew that she had ventured further into the abyss than ever before. The malevolent whispers had lured her closer to the heart of the manor's mysteries, closer to the precipice of the unknown. With each stroke of the pen, Eleanor Winslow inched away from the realm of skepticism and deeper into the dark embrace of Blackthorn Manor, where secrets and horrors awaited, and where the line between reality and the supernatural blurred into an unsettling twilight. Eleanor Winslow's world had descended into a twisted nightmare. The manor, once a place of intellectual curiosity, now confined her in a web of malevolent shadows. Every corner, every room, seemed to whisper secrets that she was never meant to uncover. As night descended, Eleanor's futile attempts to escape continued. The heavy oak doors of Blackthorn Manor, once easily opened with the tug of a handle, now resisted her efforts with a supernatural force. Each push sent shivers down her spine, as if unseen hands pushed back, forcing her to remain within the mansion's oppressive embrace. The flickering candlelight in the corridor cast eerie dancing shadows on the walls. Eleanor's steps were hesitant, her fingers tracing the intricate patterns on the faded wallpaper, patterns that seemed to shift and change when her gaze wavered. The air grew colder, carrying a scent of decay that mingled with the dampness of aged wood. She could hear them now, the whispers in the darkness. Soft, almost seductive, they murmured secrets long buried beneath the manor's history. Eleanor, they hissed, as if beckoning her into their sinister fold. Some spoke in voices she recognized, a child's laughter, her mother's comforting lullabies, twisted into nightmarish echoes. Eleanor's reflection in the tarnished, ornate mirror lining the hallway was distorted, her eyes filled with fear and uncertainty. She tried to speak words of reason, reminding herself that she was a historian, a woman of logic, but the whispers grew louder, drowning out her rational thoughts. At the end of the corridor, a door stood ajar. It beckoned to her, 
the only source of light in the encroaching darkness. With trembling hands, Eleanor pushed it open. The room beyond was a study, filled with dusty tomes and arcane artifacts. The flickering candles revealed an ornate desk, its surface covered in parchments bearing inscrutable symbols and cryptic diagrams. A sudden gust of wind extinguished the candles, plunging the room into impenetrable darkness. Eleanor's heart raced as she fumbled for a match, her fingers shaking violently. The room seemed to come alive with whispers and soft, ethereal laughter, closing in on her from all sides. The match flared to life, revealing a grotesque tableau. The walls, adorned with portraits of long-dead Blackthorn ancestors, seemed to watch with malevolence. Eleanor's breath caught as she saw a figure in one of the paintings move, a skeletal hand reaching out to her. With a terrified cry, she dropped the match, plunging herself into darkness once more. But she was not alone. Invisible hands gripped her arms, pulling her deeper into the room, as spectral voices whispered in her ears, telling her of the horrors that had befallen those who dared to seek the truth within these walls. Eleanor's struggle was futile as she was drawn further into the abyss, her voice joining the chorus of anguished souls trapped within the haunted manor. In that suffocating darkness, she began to question her own sanity, wondering if the line between reality and the supernatural had finally blurred beyond recognition. The dimly lit room within Blackthorn Manor bore witness to a tense confrontation that would etch itself into the annals of Eleanor Winslow's memory. The flickering candlelight cast eerie, dancing shadows on the cracked, peeling wallpaper. The air was stifling thick with an unspoken malevolence, as Eleanor faced Lord Nathaniel Blackthorn. Lord Blackthorn stood at the far end of the room, his silhouette seemingly blending with the darkness. His eyes, like twin orbs of maleficent fire, held Eleanor's gaze with an unnerving intensity. A sinister smile played upon his lips, revealing a hint of wicked satisfaction. Miss Winslow, he began, his voice a haunting melody. I must say I didn't expect you to make it this far. Eleanor, her heart pounding in her chest, squared her shoulders and forced herself to maintain a facade of composure. Your secrets won't remain hidden, Lord Blackthorn, she replied, her voice steady despite the churning uncertainty within her. With a languid gesture, Lord Blackthorn invited her closer. Come then, perhaps it's time you learned the truth. As Eleanor hesitantly approached, she felt the room's oppressive atmosphere closing in on her. The walls seemed to whisper secrets, and the floorboards creaked in ominous cadence beneath her feet. The manor itself seemed to conspire with its master, shielding its dark mysteries from prying eyes. A sudden gust of icy wind swept through the room, extinguishing the candles and plunging them into darkness. Eleanor's breath caught in her throat as she was enveloped in a void of blackness. Lord Blackthorn's voice, now an echoing whisper, emerged from the shadows. Do you still doubt the existence of the supernatural, Miss Winslow? In the inky darkness, Eleanor felt an unseen presence brush against her, sending a shiver down her spine. She dared not move for fear of what might be lurking just beyond her vision. Your scepticism, Lord Blackthorn continued, is your greatest weakness. It blinds you to the true nature of this world. As he spoke, the darkness began to shift, taking on formless ethereal shapes. Faint, ghostly figures materialized around Eleanor, their features twisted with anguish and despair. They were the spirits of those who had met their doom within Blackthorn Manor, and they now circled her like vengeful phantoms. Eleanor's breath quickened, and beads of cold sweat formed on her brow. She could feel the weight of their sorrow, their longing, pressing down upon her. The spirits whispered to her, their voices a mournful chorus. Lord Blackthorn's voice grew stronger, commanding the spectral assembly. You see, Miss Winslow, I hold dominion over this house and all that dwells within it. These are the souls of those who dared to uncover my secrets, just as you have. Eleanor's mind raced, her scepticism shattered by the overwhelming evidence before her. She had ventured into the heart of darkness and now it threatened to consume her. With a sudden surge of determination, she mustered the courage to speak. What do you want from me, Lord Blackthorn? The malevolent smile returned to his lips. Your soul, Miss Winslow, in exchange for the knowledge you seek, an offer you can't refuse. The room pulsed with malefic energy as Eleanor confronted the unimaginable. Trapped within the haunted manor, surrounded by vengeful spirits, she faced a choice that would forever alter the course of her life. A choice between unlocking the manor's darkest secrets and risking her very soul. As the spirits closed in, their mournful cries echoing in the darkness, Eleanor's decision hung in the balance, 
and the relentless suspense of the room tightened its grip on her soul. Eleanor's heart pounded like a relentless drum as she stood in the dimly lit foyer of Blackthorn Manor. Before her, the ornate doubler doors leading to the heart of the Mansion Kriak had opened slowly, revealing a corridor shrouded in shadow. She knew she had to confront Lord Nathaniel Blackthorn, the enigmatic figure behind the unholy alliance that bound this house to the supernatural. The air grew icy as Eleanor ventured deeper into the corridor. The walls, adorned with ancient portraits of somber-faced ancestors, watched her every move with eyes that seemed to follow her. The whispers of the spirits echoed in her ears, their voices a cacophony of torment and malevolence. At the end of the corridor, an ornate wooden door, carved with intricate symbols and symbols, beckoned her for Wad. She pushed it open, revealing a chamber bathed in an eerie crimson light. There, seated on a crimson velvet armchair, was Lord Blackthorn. His face, leaned with age and cloaked in shadows, was a mask of stoic indifference. He regarded Eleanor with a chilling smile that sent shivers down her spine. Behind him, an ancient book bound in human skin lay open on a lectern, its pages filled with arcane symbols and incantations. You've come, Lord Blackthorn said, his voice as cold as the grave. Curiosity always leads to the most unexpected places. Eleanor's courage wavered, but she couldn't turn back now. I demand to know the truth, Lord Blackthorn. What is the secret of this accursed place? What have you done here? Lord Blackthorn rose slowly from his chair, his eyes never leaving Eleanor's. The secret, my dear, is power, he replied, his voice dripping with malevolence. Power beyond your wildest imaginings. I made a pact with forces older than time itself, and in return, I have been granted dominion over life and death. Eleanor's breath caught in her throat as she took in the horrifying implications of his words. You've tampered with forces you can't control, she whispered, her voice trembling. Lord Blackthorn's laughter filled the chamber, echoing off the walls. Control is an illusion, my dear. In the end, we are all at the mercy of the darkness. As he spoke, the crimson light intensified, casting grotesque, shifting shadows on the walls. The spirits bound by the pact, materialized around him, their forms twisted and contorted by centuries of suffering. Eleanor felt a suffocating presence closing in on her, and she knew she had to act quickly. She reached into her satchel and retrieved a vial of salt blessed by a priest. With trembling hands, she flung the salt in Lord Blackthorn's direction, creating a protective barrier that sent the spirits recoiling with agonized wails. The room convulsed with supernatural fury, Books flew off shelves, candles flickered wildly, and the very wall seemed to groan in torment. Eleanor clung to her faith and her determination, reciting ancient prayers she had learned in her research. Be gone, foul spirits, she cried. Your torment ends here. The spirits wailed and writhed, their forms dissipating into the crimson mist that had enveloped the chamber. Lord Blackthorn, weakened and furious, snarled at Eleanor. You may have won this battle, but you can never escape the darkness that awaits you. With a final incantation, Eleanor banished the remnants of the spirits from the room, leaving only a lingering sense of dread. Lord Blackthorn, defeated and drained of his dark powers, slumped back into his chair, his once commanding presence reduced to a hollow shell. Eleanor took a step back, her heart heavy with the knowledge of the horrors she had uncovered. The truth was more terrifying than any legend, and the price of her curiosity had been steep. As she left the chamber, the words of the spirits echoed in her mind, a haunting reminder that some secrets should remain buried, even in the darkest corners of history. The clock struck midnight in Blackthorn Manor, casting eerie shadows that danced along the walls. Eleanor Winslow stood in the dimly lit parlour, her heart pounding like a trapped bird against its cage. Before her, Lord Nathaniel Blackthorn, the reclusive nobleman with secrets darker than the night, stared back with eyes that seemed to hold the abyss itself. The room crackled with tension, as if the very air had become charged with malevolence. Eleanor clutched the ancient tome she had discovered during her investigations, a book filled with cryptic symbols and incantations that Lord Blackthorn had used to maintain his unholy alliance with the spirits that haunted the manor. You shouldn't have come here, Miss Winslow. Lord Blackthorn's voice was a chilling whisper, like the rustling of leaves on a moonless night. This place, it's not meant for the living. Eleanor's determination wavered for a moment, but she steadied herself. I came seeking the truth, Lord Blackthorn. I will not leave until I have it. With a flick of his bony fingers, 
Lord Blackthorn sent a gust of cold wind swirling through the parlour, extinguishing the candles that lined the room. Darkness descended like a shroud, and the room was plunged into an impenetrable blackness. Eleanor's breath quickened as she fumbled for her lantern, its feeble light struggling against the oppressive dark. Shadows danced and writhed on the walls, taking on grotesque forms that seemed to mock her presence. And then, the voices began. A chorus of whispers that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. Stay, Eleanor, they hissed, their words like icy fingers brushing against her skin. Stay and be one with us. But Eleanor clung to her resolve, her lantern's light a small beacon of defiance in the encroaching abyss. I will not join your twisted ranks, she declared, her voice trembling but resolute. As if in response, the spirits intensified their assault. Invisible hands reached out from the shadows, their cold grasp closing around Eleanor's throat, making it difficult to breathe. The room seemed to spin, and she felt herself losing consciousness. Just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a blinding light erupted from the pages of the ancient tome she held. The symbols etched within it glowed with an otherworldly brilliance, banishing the darkness and the malevolent spirits with it. Eleanor gasped for breath as the room returned to normalcy. Lord Blackthorn, his sinister façade shattered, crumpled to the floor, defeated. The spirit's whispers faded into nothingness, leaving behind only an eerie silence. Eleanor stumbled toward the fallen nobleman, her lantern casting a harsh light on his face. His once proud countenance was now twisted with fear and agony. What have you done? He rasped, his voice no longer filled with the chilling authority it had held before. With a heavy heart, Eleanor spoke the final incantation from the ancient tome, sealing Lord Blackthorn's fate. The spirits had exacted their vengeance, and their unholy alliance was no more. The manor itself seemed to sigh with relief, its haunted echoes quieted at last. Eleanor knew that she had paid a steep price for the truth, and she would bear the scars of that night forever. As she left Blackthorn Manor behind, the first rays of dawn broke through the thick fog that clung to the moors. The manor stood in the distance, a dark silhouette against the emerging light. Eleanor could still hear the haunting echoes of the past, but she knew that she had emerged from the abyss with a story to tell, a story of darkness and redemption, of the blurred lines between the living and the dead. But would anyone believe her? That she could not be certain of. The truth had been revealed, but it was a truth too horrifying to share with the world. And so, Eleanor Winslow carried the secrets of Blackthorn Manor with her, locked away in the deepest recesses of her soul, haunted by the echoes of that fateful night. The night outside Blackthorn Manor was thick with a cloak of mist, wrapping itself around the ancient trees and the crumbling stones like a shroud. Within the mansion's dimly lit library, Eleanor Winslow sat, her trembling hands clutching her leather-bound journal, the one she had brought to chronicle her journey into the supernatural. The journal's pages remained mostly blank, a stark contrast to the whirlwind of events that had unfolded in this accursed place. The candle on the library's table flickered, casting eerie shadows that danced like malevolent spirits. Eleanor's once skeptical eyes, now haunted by the horrors she had witnessed, scanned the room. The whispers that had echoed through these walls had now faded, leaving only an unsettling silence. With a quill dipped in ink, Eleanor began to write, her hand trembling, the words flowing from her as if possessed by some unseen force. The secrets of Blackthorn Manor are darker and more enigmatic than I could have ever imagined. My skepticism has crumbled, replaced by the chilling certainty that there are forces beyond the realm of reason. The spirits within these walls are not mere apparitions, but sentient entities with their own motives and desires. Lord Nathaniel Blackthorn, the enigmatic recluse who inhabits this malevolent abode, is bound to these spirits through an unholy alliance. His motivations are rooted in a hunger for power and knowledge that knows no bounds. He is a man corrupted by forces he can no longer control. I stand on the precipice of madness, teetering between the realms of the real and the supernatural. The shadows move, and the whispers persist even as I pen these words. Each word I write seems to beckon the spirits closer, as if they are eager for their story to be told. The haunting echoes of my encounters with the spirits continue to reverberate in my mind. The cryptic warnings, the malevolent temptations, the relentless pursuit, 
These memories claw at my sanity, threatening to pull me into the abyss of their world. As I reflect on my time within these cursed walls, I am left with more questions than answers. What is the true nature of the spirits that haunt this place? What secrets lie buried in the depths of Blackthorn Manor, waiting to be unearthed by unsuspecting souls? And most haunting of all, what part have I played in this dark tapestry of the supernatural? The truth remains elusive, like a phantom that eludes my grasp. I am left with the indelible mark of this experience, a scar on my psyche that will never fade. Whether I leave this place alive or succumb to the malevolent forces that dwell here, one thing is certain. My journey into the unknown has forever changed me. And as I lay down my quill, I cannot escape the feeling that the spirits of Blackthorn Manor watch and wait, their whispers still echoing in the corners of my mind, their secrets bound to this accursed place for all eternity. Eleanor closed her journal, its pages now filled with her harrowing account. The library remained as still and oppressive as before, but in her words, she had given voice to the unspeakable horrors she had witnessed. She knew that she could never truly leave Blackthorn Manor behind, for the haunting echoes of its secrets would forever linger in her soul, a testament to the thin boundary between the real and the supernatural. The manor stood as a shadowy sentinel on the fog-draped moors, its dark secrets hidden within its ancient stone walls. Time had not eroded its malevolence. If anything, it had amplified its sinister presence. The tale of Blackthorn Manor would forever remain etched in the annals of the macabre, a haunting reminder of the boundary between the living and the dead, the real and the supernatural. Eleanor Winslow, the intrepid historian who had ventured into this abyss, now stood at a distance, gazing upon the foreboding mansion. The events that had unfolded within those walls had changed her irrevocably. Her once steadfast skepticism had crumbled like ancient parchment, replaced by a gnawing uncertainty that gnawed at her soul. The night was heavy with an oppressive silence, broken only by the mournful wail of the wind as it whispered through the gnarled branches of the surrounding forest. Eleanor could still hear those other whispers, the chilling voices of the malevolent spirits that had tormented her, their cryptic words haunting her thoughts. She had emerged from the depths of the manor, battered and bruised, with her sanity hanging by the thinnest thread. The malevolent forces that had sought to ensnare her had been vanquished, but the scars they left upon her psyche ran deep. As Eleanor looked back at Blackthorn Manor, she couldn't help but wonder if the darkness that dwelled within those walls had truly been vanquished, or if it merely lay dormant waiting for the next unwitting soul to stumble upon its secrets. The manor had a way of drawing people in, like moths to a flame, tempting them with its mysteries and ensnaring them in its web of terror. The fog seemed to thicken around the manor, shrouding it in an impenetrable veil. Eleanor could no longer see the details of the mansion, but she could feel its malevolence, a palpable presence that seemed to seep into her very bones. With a heavy heart, Eleanor turned away from Blackthorn Manor, knowing that she could never truly leave it behind. Its horrors would continue to haunt her dreams, its secrets would continue to gnaw at her curiosity, and its whispers would forever echo in the recesses of her mind. As she walked away from that accursed place, Eleanor couldn't help but wonder if she had truly escaped the clutches of Blackthorn Manor, or if she was merely another chapter in its ever-expanding book of horrors. The line between reality and the supernatural had blurred beyond recognition, leaving her with more questions than answers. And so, Blackthorn Manor stood in silent vigil, its secrets buried in the fog, waiting for the next soul brave or foolish enough to venture into its depths, and the cycle of terror would continue, as it always had, and always would.